Hi, I'm Brendan Tufo. I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and also a parishioner here at St. Francis Cabrini. As the summer ends and we begin to move into fall, I have now started my second year of formation at St. Charles Seminary. Looking back on my first year of formation, I've been very blessed to be a seminarian during this time of transition for the seminary community. While last year there were a considerable numbers of last at St. Charles Seminary campus in Overbrook, this coming year will be filled with many first at our new St. Charles Borromeo Seminary campus in Gwynedd. The events of my first year of seminary and my own personal stories uh, that I can share with all of you are plentiful. I could share about Orientation Day, Cassock Day, the ordination of our new auxiliary bishops for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, and how two of them, uh, of these new bishops, are on faculty at the seminary. I could talk about so much more. However, I think it'd be most appropriate if I shared about two takeaways, namely fraternity and prayer. But before I do that, I should explain what this past year entailed and was designed for. In the summer of 2023, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops implemented a new program regarding the formation of future priests. The propedeutic stage, which is a preparatory stage, prepares the new seminarians for everything they need to fully embrace the seminary lifestyle, namely obedience, prayer, and fraternity. The propedeutic stage is centered around growing and nurturing one's prayer life and cultivating the relationship between the new seminarian and our Lord, especially in his love of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. It also focuses on fostering fraternity with classmates and other seminarians. I welcome the opportunity to become well acquainted with these classmates of mine. These are the men who I'm spending a major portion of my life during my seminary formation years, and so I understood the importance of getting to know them. Being the first class to partake in this propedeutic stage, we're all grow going with the flow of things, especially when it came to studies and our planning of class adventures. And it was through these class adventures, which took place on almost every Thursday, that we grew closer, not just as friends, but as brother seminarians. Whether we were biking along the Schuylkill River, eating at the Reading Terminal, or helping out the poor Clare Sisters Monastery in Yardley, we always managed to have fun and enjoy companionship of one another. When the announcements of our new auxiliary bishops came out, and for the months leading up to the ordinations, we all came together as a family, and we celebrate this tremendous gift to the Church of Philadelphia. It was a wonderful time to be at the seminary. Looking back on these moments, I always am proud to call these men my brother seminarians. And on the topic of prayer, my relationship with God has changed in a very good way during this preparatory stage. My prayer life prior to entering the seminary was not bad, but could have been better. I prayed a rosary every now and then, prayed the church's liturgy of the hours when I could, but never really focused on a personal prayer life. In my first year, prayer was on the front burner, and in addition to communal prayer, there were many opportunities for me to go to chapel during the day to pray. Having a spiritual director to help me grow in my prayer life and to open my mind and heart to further follow the Lord has also made an impact on my prayer. While it is great to speak to our Lord through formal prayer, I discovered that just sitting in His presence is an act of love and an opportunity to hear and feel God speaking to me. Embracing the sacred silence and being absorbed by the peace He bestows made a difference in my prayer life, and He can do the same for everyone. I respectfully encourage our parishioners to do this, to visit our St. Joseph's Chapel in the parish center and just sit with Him. As I prepare to start my college years, I thank you, the parishioners of St. Francis Cabrini, for your prayerful support and the many gifts you have bestowed upon me. I also want to thank my seminary dean, Father Jason Buck, for giving me a year I will always remember. Please know that you are in my personal prayers and the prayers of the St. Charles Seminary community. God bless.